Australian Air Force pilots have been doing a little showing off today, heading north to put on an impressive display of their deadly new firepower. Australia's top guns took to the skies above North Queensland in a fleet of F-111s to show off their new laser weapons guidance system. This is the laser and infrared weapons guidance system known as PAVETAC, which went on show to media representatives from around Australia at Ambley Air Force Base. This device, combined with sophisticated bombs like TV-guided and laser-guided missiles, allows accuracy to within one metre of a target. Today at Townshend Island, three aircraft from one squadron tested high-explosive laser-guided bombs. As the missile separates from the plane around 200 feet off the ground, it is guided to the target via laser pulses. There is enough high-powered explosive in these 2,000-pound bombs to flatten the average house. The F-111 is capable of releasing its deadly bomb cargo between 10 and 50 kilometres from the target. For the Air Force, this weapon system is the ultimate. Now when they come off the aeroplane, we can actually guide them in the flight and get them more accurate. So we get more destruction for fewer bombs, less rate of effort, less exposure to the aircraft, greater result for the country. Only two more F-111s have to be equipped with the PAVETAC system, which will allow the aircraft to continue service well into the next century. Robert Dean for 7 News. West of Brisbane is home to Australia's most potent attack weapon, the F-111 fighter bomber. Australia's 22 swing-wing bombers have attracted flak since the day they were bought. Criticism, the Air Force says, has been unjustified. Australia's Air Force commander, Air Vice Marshal Radford, has ordered two days of intense media briefings on what upgrading the bombers means. It's staggering to think these aircraft are older than many of the pilots who fly them. The Air Force says with modifications including the weapons control and aiming system called PAVETAC, these planes will be in Australia's front line when today's pilots have retired. This is what PAVETAC can do. A dark night over Brisbane's Mount Cutha and an F-111 PAVETAC picks out Channel 9's front door. 10.30pm over Sydney and a bomb would follow a laser dot through Centrepoint's needle. OK, got Centrepoint tower, narrow sector, tracking. Now I can focus. What part are you tracking? The restaurant. Late night in Canberra and the infrared and laser sight a particular window in defence headquarters. If this was war, the new system could guide a laser-sensitive or camera-controlled bomb to one metre accuracy in any weather. The Air Force initiative to show off its new capabilities during this two-day briefing, even releasing recently declassified bombing tests, aims to boost the public awareness of the F-111's defence value. And the vital core of our offensive air power is the F-111 strike force. The Air Force will demonstrate the new system tomorrow with live bombing off central Queensland.